and welcome back to Practical Magic. This is lesson number five and this is the lesson that I really need to talk to you about. It is the lesson of intent and it is how we use our magic. It is basically the ethics of magic. Now in this lesson I want to discuss with you certain forms of magic and certain values that you may think you don't have. But if you've come this far, you probably have. Now, magic is predominantly used by those people we would term as witches, or healers, or light workers, or shamans. Magic, as you found out, is all around us, and it is within you. But it is how we use that magic that is incredibly important. And when you start to tell your family and friends that you're learning magic and you are participating in certain activities and you're performing spells and charms and incantations and you're recognising the seasons and the months and moon cycles, people will respond to you differently. But how you respond back to them is also equally as important. When people do know that you are casting spells, chances are you'll come across a friend who'll say, Oh, I, I love this guy. He absolutely adores me. Please, can you do a spell to make him love me? No. We don't do that. We never interfere on free will the freedom of choice. That particular person, that particular male or female that your friend is madly in love with, has their own life, has their own choices. You do not interfere whatsoever. Instead, in that situation, I'd probably help your friend and talk to them and give them the knowledge, pass it on to them and ask them to do a matches spell. Should you be with this person, yes or no? Simple spell, which we'll look at in the next lesson, magical practices, and in particular, the three matches spell that witches use. So intent and the ethics of magic is very important. 